Marvel put out a very 70s version of their latest Netflix hero, Cage, and this number one issue is about to get dicked for its story. But at least it's got some groovy style. No doubt Gindy Tartakovsky knows his 1970s. And the bank rollers start the book off right with some roller skating hijinks, only to be smashed by Cage. The colors, the lines, the attitude is all archetypical of the times, and we love Cage number one for it. But as soon as you're immersed in the world, the story knocks you right back out of it with weird side notes. Like, I still have no idea why Cage broke that basketball hoop. Cage! Or why he gets so angry. Apparently Cage is the last superhero as all the others in New York City have been abducted, except for the X-Men. Which happens just so Gindy can cameo Dark Phoenix motifs, despite the inconsistency it causes in the story. Cage! Cage still tries to figure out why he's the last hero and why his adversaries team up against him, even though he just met the X-Men, so the story has no firm basis. But hey, at least the innovative panel work, Hanna-Barbera-esque art, and the genre in general keeps the book fun. If you're looking for a fun 70s book without a care in the world, pick up Cage number one. But if you care at all about the story playing out from page to page, be wary because this book received a three on the dick side of the Richter scale. Hit subscribe and coming out with this jive ass turkey next week for more dick.